We are live right now at KMZQ with Andy and Mark. We're doing Wellness Wednesday. We're talking about a lot of different things today. I'm going to check in on all of you and I'll see if I can... I'll just intro and you can introduce uh, Marla. Okay. You've got a... <coughs> 8-12 on a Wednesday morning. Thanks for hanging with us here on the club. Welcome to May 17, 2023. We're live and local weekday morning. 6 to 9, the information to begin your day with a smile or two. Welcome to the club. Andy Vieira and Mark Thomas here till 9, followed by Clay Travis and Buck Sexton. And it is uh, Wellness Wednesday. Uh, Marla Letitia is the founder of Long Life Era Community Facebook Group. Joining the club in studio, good morning to you. You also go by Nanny Bubby on nannybubby.com. But the Facebook group, is a Long Life Era Community Facebook Group, can you summarize that? Uh, to get us started here and what exactly who, who are you speaking to so number one i enjoy everybody who feels that they have a calling to hear information about living in your long life era and that is the many people that have been joining the facebook group and long life is just another word for being a senior but senior to me sounds like a destination and it also mm -hmm. defines what my grandmother and great grandmother look like not what the baby boomer generation is currently looking like and so instead of hitting a destination of being a senior uh, we are beyond that we are yes that and we are living in our long life era forever how long that goes 120 110 so at 70 you could really have 30 to 35 more years to live like imagine all the different things you did from the time you were born until you were 35 yeah, All the count, different counting, growth. Counting back, if I were to roll back 30 years, I'd be 25 years old. Right. And so and just. All that's happened since then. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge part. I barely remember. Uh, yeah, right. I, I think so my brain time. cells are dead from that <laughs> period, so I don't remember what happened. And you right can. There. And it's never too late. It's never <clears throat> too late to start again. Yeah. It's never too late to look back and say, wow, I did that wrong. You could either sit in that with some sort of depression and uh, feeling of um, that you just weren't good enough to get to where you wanted to get or you can say you know what so what mm -hmm. let me try again I learned from that mistake let me do it right this time and so it's really about having courage to step forward in your long life era I, you know courage is the buzzword for this next article I ran across a couple of days ago and I thought we didn't talk about it uh, yesterday because I said I'm saving this for Wellness Wednesday. Oh, all right. I'm you're, ready. You're going to love this. I'm ready. Martha Stewart made headlines recently when she made the Sports Illustrated annual swimsuit issue, not just featured in it, on it, the cover. Uh, bold. No, no one's going to mistake her for Car Kathy Ireland, but do you think we're going to see more of this from men and women in that age group? Well, I'll tell you, because I do, and wasn't that amazing? First of all, she looked great. Her hair was beautiful. Her makeup was beautiful. Yeah, did they Photoshop any of that? Uh, well, probably, but who cares? Okay, I mean, checking. really. I, the swimsuit issue is, no, you know, they're, they're notorious for being, <coughs> it's all, you know, natural stuff. <coughs> right. Without, without just a little bit of makeup outside of that, <coughs> and they're all primarily pretty young compared to Martha, who's 81. So I'm going to let you guys into a little secret like women have you know if you're Kathy Ireland it's you're probably born proportionately perfect where you have a waist and you have beautiful legs but most women either have beautiful legs but a wide back and a wide waist or like me they have a really tiny waist but my legs are horrific I don't know what God was thinking at the time but horrific. let me tell you so I have had to learn to dress for my waist and not show much of my legs but I will tell you that I looked at her, and Photoshop or not, that woman has beautiful legs. Like, if I were on that cover, I would be showing my waist, but I, my legs, legs would be covered. So for her, she was showing her legs, her best quality, and, because and Martha, hiding her waist. Because Martha's 81, there may be a lot of folks that don't know her backstory. She used to be a stockbroker, but before that, she was a model. Oh, she was. She was a model I did back not in the know day. that. Uh huh. So yeah, she understands, like you say, what the look is yes. and what her strengths are. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that. So I wrote something in the Long Life Era yesterday that the baby boomer generation represents twenty one point eight percent of the total population. We are still the largest population generation on the planet, yet we represent thirty eight. 0.6% of influence and power in economic, culture, and political. That means we still have the money. 
We Is still have saying. the money. Yeah. We still have the enormity of per persons in the group, and we are still influencing culture. And so the goal here is to influence culture towards a transformation of thinking, both for those who are in their long life era and those who are looking at it. Uh, because in America, unlike Japan, we don't look at those that are greater than us in those decades and eras as having value. We somehow push them aside, yeah. whereas in Japan, they're honored. And um, I just had that actual experience with my mother, who is 90, in um, Blue Ribbon Sushi, which is authentically Japanese with, you know, Japanese people working in it. And oh my God, we've never had better service. The bowing, the, 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 the uh, oh my God, yeah. it was, ab and I was like, wow, if this is what Japan is like, we really need to transform culture and that's my mission that's my authentic mission with the long life era community. yeah we don't want to be eskimos where they put you out on a piece of ice and just float let you float away <laughs> that's not that's not the way we want to re revere folks that get older or the rhinoceroses because they do that too yeah. when i was in south africa they put the babies in the center of the circle the midlifers in the you know interior but the elderly are out at the edge of the circle so that if a lion comes they're the first to be eaten. easy pickings Easy Pickens is right. Yeah, Marla Latige is the founder of Long Life Era Community Facebook group. Uh, reframe your own Long Life Era from a crisis into a calling. This is Wellness Wednesday. I, I want to do, a, from uh, not personal experience, but uh, first hand, second hand, uh, one of my best friends just turned 67. He retired at the end of uh, 2022, mm -hmm. and he's bored. He's, mm -hmm. he's, do you find a lot of people who uh, have been saving their whole lives, doing it all right, managing their money correctly, and then look around going, uh, what am I going to do today? Yes, I do. And it causes depression. Mm -hmm. And it causes um, someone to say, I don't have purpose. I don't have worth. And then you start looking inside and you see commercials that say, buy pharmaceuticals. <coughs> if you have this, you must yeah. be sick. Go see your doctor. Tell your doctor. They, uh, the yeah, commercials go see are your really bold. Yes, say, yes. Specifically, ask your doctor for this drug. Yes. Exactly. And you you end up with a resignation about life and regression, meaning that you just don't want to do anything. Depression sits in. And so the goal of the Long Life Era community is to say, look, we all have authentic purpose. You may not have found that authenticity when you were younger because no one trained you to look for that within yourself. You were raising a family. You had to slay the bacon uh, and bring it home. Uh, and you were busy doing what your family expected of you, both your parents and you had your own and you, you were doing what you had to. And you were waiting for this moment to happen and when it did, you didn't have something to fall back on. And so this is about, it's never too late to look within, to find that silence within that has been dying to come out. It is your purpose for being born, and that is what you want to do. You want to go back to that. It's okay. The courage you need to get out there and to know yourself and recreate for the purposes beyond yourself. I think it's a selfish thing to say, I don't have anything to give, because you do. Sure. <laughs> they're all, they're all, yeah. That, you really, really do. Yeah, but, if you say, but, I'm but afraid, but you, that's, it's, it's, it's selfish to be afraid. Do you know how many people are dying to hear what you have to say or do or bring or write the music you've always been writing, uh, wanting to make yeah. or, or whatever else, it's there. But sometimes, and my sister and I had this conversation a couple of weeks ago because she and I both left the islands under di for different reasons and under different circumstances and we came to the same conclusion that based upon um, our family's character, characterization of who we were as individuals, mm -hmm. it was more important for us to leave to figure out who we were outside of their characterization of us. Me moving to the mainland, and she went into the Air Force. And we came back, I think, as better individuals, and she acknowledged the same thing. She goes, yeah, I had to leave in order for me to find myself because the family had created this picture of who we were, and if we stayed there, that's the characterization we were going to have to deal with. Sure. But us allow, uh, allowing ourselves to get out 
and sort of break the, the glass ceiling or whatever analogy you want to use, allowed us to find ourselves and, cr and figure out what our contributions were going to be. Well, I have to tell you, I, I, like, I feel risky, and I, I have to have courage to actually bring this up okay. to the two of you, but I, I learned a technique uh, years back, decades back, when reading a book, I think it was called The Millionaire Mind. I love that. Uh, you, okay, yeah. and it was about finding your purpose in one word. Do you remember that? So I remember I was reading the book with a friend and I said, I cannot find my purpose in one word. I've been trying my whole life to find my purpose and I've never been able to do it. So to be able to drill it down to one word, I'm never going to be able to do that. And she said, well, I got to tell you, I did it and I did it in a matter of minutes. And I said, oh, really, how? And so I wanted to ask the two of you and maybe your audience, if you would like, I will get us all to figuring out what your one word purpose is. Do you want to play? Yeah, I got it. You want to play, Andy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, you've got it. All right, well, hold on. Let me take you through the process. All right. Let's see if it stays the same. Okay. Okay, so here you go. I said, really, <laughs> what, what is it that is your one word purpose? And she said, look, I know I can feel inside everything. She's a personal organizer. And she said, everything that I do, I want to bring joy to other people. If I see somebody in the line, I notice I want to talk to them and give them a smile. I want to bring them joy. Everything I do, really, that is what I do and why I do it. And I, at the time that she said it, there was a word that just came to my mind. And, I, and she said, you got it, didn't you? And I said, yes, I know my word. And she said, what is your word? And I said, my word. My purpose, my single purpose, is to inspire. Uh, you stole my thunder. I swear I was going to write it in a closed envelope. Inspiration was the word that came to mind immediately, right before you even started telling me about this. For me or for you? No, for, for to boil it down for me, inspiration to be inspired by others and to inspire other people. Okay. So it, it's a two-way deal Okay. for me. Yeah. What's no, yours? For me, and this goes back to my conversation that we've had before about being One a four-year-old. Four uh, my, my mission in life is, is is to put a smile on people's face. There you go. I mean, it, at the end of the day, you know, whether it's like just smiling at somebody and they respond back. Happy. Uh, being the middle child, you're the one that wants to make everybody happy. Bring happy. Yeah. Bring so happy. It, it's happy, and that's I, you know, it's a simple mission, and it's easy to do, and it doesn't cost you anything. So I've always been uh, about you know m trying to make people happy or, or brighten their day. So if you're driving to work, you had a word that came to mind. If you're listening live on Instagram, your word came. Um, it to you at the time and so your your mission your purpose in life never changes so if your word was laughter as an example and you're a mom then I can guarantee you that your family laughs all the time right that one word purpose doesn't change you're a stay-at-home mom but I guarantee you you're bringing laughter to that family all the time um, it your situation changes Mm -hmm. You bring your purpose into your situation, but as, so if you are at home and you are, like what Mark said, 66 years old, 65, how old was he? Uh, who, no, no, the guy oh, you were talking friend. about. Uh, 66 when he retired. 66 when he retired, or, retired, and you are feeling that you don't know what to do and you're bored, don't let yourself get sick and miserable. You heard your one word, go out there and find a way to live that purpose and you will live 20 years longer than you will if you sit and get bored. Yeah, attitude is everything and we'll leave everybody on that note. It's a great way to end and uh, let people begin their week. Coming great. On, yep, fantastic. We will buy again. Fantastic week. Thank you, Nanny Bubby. Thank, Thank you. you. Cool. Well, that was fun. Yeah, that was And yours fun. is the same as mine. Inspiration. I, I was going to write it down because I was like, she's going to say it, and it's going to look like I copied her, but... No, I, no, I no, 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 no. I mean, it, just because I am meant to inspire doesn't mean that you're not, right? right? right like, right. many of us, how, how many people chose happy? How many people, you know, that's, that's their purpose. Okay. It's just that the way that we all go about giving it to the world yeah. is maybe slightly different, right?